All right, beautiful people, welcome to yet another episode. In this episode, we'll talk about the concept of emancipate yourself from mental slavery. This comment was made by Hill Selassie and then later made popular by Marcus Garvey and also made more popular even by Bob Marley, that black people need to emancipate themselves from mental slavery. So then... We talk about the slavery, as in the fiscal slavery that occurred in Africa for about 400 years, also in America and so on and so forth, among black people. The fiscal slavery is gone now. The days of holding people down, beating them up, using them to do jobs that are dirty jobs, are all gone now. But the next form of slavery that we have is mental slavery. Someone like Carmen Cromer will say that we are in neo colonialism, that the fiscal slavery is gone, but it's a neo colonialism or slavery that is going on, and that is the mental slavery that we've been talking about all these years. The question then is, what are some of the things that we are doing in this time? What are some of the behaviors that we are putting up that shows that we are mentally going through slavery? Don't forget to like, comment, and share our videos. So what are some of the things that we do that will show that we are mentally enslaved? So if you look at us, you know, even the way we educate ourselves, the whole curriculum, the whole system of education that we use here, which is more of a theoretical form of education that we are going through now. Uh, the education that will not make you be able to manufacture or invent anything. The education that will just give you theories and that will make you still depend on other countries to produce and manufacture things for you to use. That's the kind of education that we've been given. And this is the education that we see as education. Therefore, the bigger brains who have never had the opportunity to be in school, people see them as lower brains. This is mental slavery. If someone has a bigger brain and can manufacture and do bigger things for us to use, that is a big brain that we need to accord respect to and use these people to build our countries. So we are mentally enslaved in this time. Now you see black people buying creams to bleach their skin because they want to look, you know, have a lighter skin and they think that this is the skin that will make them look good. That is mental slavery right there. Why don't you like the black skin that God gave you? Because God, Definitely, it's a wise man to have given us this skin that we have. And it is a skin that sets us apart, that makes us so unique. So, some of the impacts of slavery on us as Africans is, you know, the way we want our skin to be. That now, if it's black, then it's not good. If it's black, you don't get a praise of men. Therefore, we take steps to buy creams and we want to change our skin and so on and so forth. That is mental slavery right there. If an African should manufacture something right now, we see it as inferior. So then how can we even uh, encourage innovation and invention and manufacturing of machines and all of that in Africa? When anything effort made by the small number of Africans who are trying to manufacture things, we say it's inferior because it was made by a fellow black person. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. So if we understand mental slavery, then anything manufactured by the black man, whether good or bad, we use it to the time that it reaches perfection. Just like the Chinese man did it. When China closed its doors to stop trading with the whole of the world, they were able for a period of 20 or 15 years or so, manufacture things and the law was, you use it so far as it's made by China and we are not importing anything. In that way, they started seeing that which was made by a Chinese man as good and therefore that is a dominant force in their country and they use most things manufactured by Chinese men. And later they opened their doors to sell with the rest of the world now they use just a few things made by other part of the world also as a strategy to sell their chinese made products to other parts of the world we can do the same thing as africans that which is made by an african whether good or bad we use it to the time that it will get to a perfect state so for example if we discover oil in africa and africa is thinking about you know being able to drill this oil you know uh, uh, process it and get whatever product they can get from the oil the only thing is, let's go to the white people. They, f- they have a machine. Let's go and make a deal with them to come and drill oil. Yeah, take a higher percentage, we take a small percentage. How about we sit down and say, let's organize the bigger brains, put them together, and let us manufacture that machine or invent that machine that would use to drill the oil that God has given us. So that we don't even trust in the brain of the African to be able to make things that African can use. Whatever we need, it says, let's go. They've manufactured, let's go and buy it, let's go. And that is mental slavery. Is it that the white brain is bigger than the black brain? And that we can never manufacture anything unless we go to another person to manufacture it for us? 
now even the drafts that we take 99.9 percent .9 of the drafts that we take as africa is our manufactured from the white people what if the white people are not there in the world what are we going to do are we going to be there in four second die or we are going to try and manufacture our own medicines these are some of the things that are showing us that we are still under mental slavery now we all wear you know dresses that are made by uh, why uh, white people and other people and what about dresses made by the africans if we can popularize as a sell to the rest of the world this has all the mental slavery that we are going through let me know your comments about this topic about emancipating yourself from mental slavery to see that which is made by black as good and to see the african land as a good place to be and to make it a better place for our future generations to come subscribe like comment and i'll see you in the next video